Hey guys, I am back with a Valentine's Day inspired tutorial. This is a Katy Perry Valentine's Day look. I saw this interview of her and she had this really gorgeous like pinky purple makeup on and I thought it would be perfect for Valentine's Day. And it's a really fun flirty look perfect for going out on a Valentine's date or whatever your plans are. And for the eyes we did these really pretty pinks and purples we um, added a full pair of false lashes because Kitty loves her false lashes. We added the same colors along our lower lash line and then we did, we kept the waterline clean by adding a uh, white in the waterline. We lightened the eyebrows a bit as well just to not um, make them the focus, keep the focus on the eyes. And then for the cheeks we did this barely there pink cheek and then we did this beautiful pink lip as well. So. It's lots of pink. It's it's like a total girly look. If you guys want to see a list of all the products that I used for this look and the inspiration picture, you could click on the link below to go to my blog. And if you want to see how this fun Valentine's Day Katy Perry inspired look is done, just stay tuned. All right, let's start by priming our eyelids. I'm using Max Painterly Paint Pot. Just with my finger starting from my lash line and then blending this up towards my brows. Add a bit of that primer along your lower lash line also. So when you apply shadow there, it'll stick and you won't get any fallout. I really want the colors in this look to stand out, so I'm adding a bit of a white base on my lid, and I'm just using the Makeup Forever Flash Color Set. But a really great option, I know that NYX has these fat white pencils that work great for this and they're really affordable. So that's a really good option as well. But just applying this white is going to give us much brighter colors on our eyes. And I added a bit of white along my lower lash line as well. First color I'm starting off with is a bright pink. This is Passionate from MAC. I'm using my mint brush number 20. Applying this color mainly in my crease and just past it. Take that same color with the same brush and apply it along your lower lash line. Next, take your purple color. This is called Parfait Amour from MAC and your flat eyeshadow brush. This is mint brush number 22. And use it to pack on that purple tone onto your lid. And I like to start from the middle and then just blend out to your corners and blend it in with that pink shadow. Bring that purple color just up to your crease and then with your number 20 brush or a soft blending brush, just gently blend that out so that colors just diffuse into each other. Take your pencil brush, this is mint brush number 24, and use it to apply that purple color really close to your lower lash line. We want to pack this color on and we still want to be able to see that pink coming through as well. And blend that a bit with your number 20 brush or your blending brush. Next I'm doing a slightly darker purple in my crease. A great option is Daphne from NARS or number 92 from Makeup Forever. And I'm starting off with a really small defined crease brush and then I'm going to go and blend it out a bit. Because I want this color just in a certain area. I don't want it all over. Once you have that color on there, take your number 20 brush or your blending brush and then just really gently blend out the edges. You could add a bit of color to your brush if you want. Add a bit of that pink shadow to it and then gently soften out that purple. 
just blend it out really gently to blend all the colors together. Next, take a really light colored shadow. This is Vanilla from MAC. I'm using my mint brush number 22 and I'm using this color to light my brow bone and blend this color down with the other shadows. I'm adding just a tiny bit of a pink shimmer on my lid just to kind of make this stand out a bit. I'm using Makeup Forever Star Powder number 969. It looks like this. And you could add just a pop of that shimmer right in your inner corner. Line your waterline with a white or cream pencil. Make sure your waterline is clean before you do this. So take a Q-tip and get rid of any product in your waterline if you need to. Next is mascara and lashes. I've applied mascara top and bottom and I'm applying these false lashes. These are number 507 from Red Cherry, which are really full lashes. So once your lashes are on, take a bit of a liquid liner or cream liner and use it to line your top waterline, sorry, your top lash line. And I'm using my mint brush number 32 to do this. And my favorite Makeup Forever Aqua Black. So I need to kind of stretch my eye out a bit just so I can see what I'm doing. Because I can't close my eyes on its own. It's really annoying actually. <laughs> so I'm covering up the base of the lashes and drawing on a line just going straight across. Moving on to our skin, I'm applying a bit of foundation to even out my skin tone. I'm using my Makeup Forever HD foundation. I'll show you guys the bottle and I'm using my mint brush number 10 foundation brush and I'm starting from the center of my face and then blending out back towards my ears Once your foundation is applied, you want to add a bit of concealer, and I'm using the Joe Fresh Double Ended Concealer. She switches up the color of her eyebrows a lot. Sometimes she goes lighter, sometimes she goes darker. When she uses does colors like this, like eyeshadow colors like this, like the ones we're using today, she tends to go lighter, lighter on her brows. So that's what I'm going to do as well. And I'm using a brow gel. This is Girl Boy from MAC. And to tweak the shape a bit, I'm also adding a bit of pencil liner so I can get a really nice clean shape. She always does have really beautiful brows. For my cheeks, I'm using this soft, dusty pink. This is called Rosetta, and it's from Joe Fresh Cosmetics. If you have an eyeshadow similar to this color, you could always use that as well for your cheeks. I don't want this color on my cheeks to be too much because we're doing so much color everywhere else. So... I just kind of want this to be really soft, not stand out, just give a hint of warmth. 
And lastly for lips, I added a bit of concealer to just get rid of all that natural color that I had. And I'm adding a pink lip gloss. This is number 129 from NYX. I really like this color. I've been using it a lot lately. So there you go. That's how this Katy Perry inspired Valentine's Day look is done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I hope you get a chance to try it out for Valentine's Day. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.